Hey guys, this is Clay at Hit and Miss, and today I'm going to talk about the uh, trigger job on the Springfield XDM uh, 9mm, and it came with a with an okay trigger like most things do, um, but this one uh, I went with the Powder River Ultimate Match Trigger and replaced the actual trigger. Um, and the trigger mechanism in the back and uh, it required a little bit of fitting not a lot but I stoned a few places not on the sear but just so it would fit and uh, I like it a lot better uh, quite a bit better matter of fact um, I haven't measured how many pounds it was uh, before or after but it's definitely a lot smoother and I don't I don't mind it having a few you know three or four pounds of uh, pulling pressure uh, but having it smooth is, is just better <laughs> to be smoother and uh, so it has a um, trigger travel uh, stop in that the back of the trigger comes a little bit oversized and I don't know if you can see this uh, or not but on the back side this notch right here this part sticking out comes a little oversized and um, so you uh, install the trigger mechanism file a little bit on the back of the trigger until uh, it will actually release the, the sear or the, the striker and uh, I, I really like it um, it's it's better than it certainly than it was from the factory and the reset is you can hear it and you can feel it pretty well um, the take up is just a normal amount it's quite a bit uh, to get to the wall and then i don't know if you can see that gap right there there we go but that's the amount of space that you can begin uh, the trigger press with and uh, it's, it's nice i like it a lot um, like I say, it's a Powder River trigger, ultimate trigger, match trigger, and I think it was about $150. It was well worth it. Um, the reset was right there. I would guess, I would guess the amount of pull on that is probably three and a half pounds or so. So that's the Springfield XDM, the Smith and Wesson M, M and P Pro. Um, I put an apex trigger mechanism in this one and out of the box when this was new it probably had the absolutely worst trigger of anything I've ever felt I, I felt lever action rifles had a better trigger than this it was scratchy it sounded like two rusty pieces of metal dragging over each other and so uh, installed the apex uh, spring uh, trigger mechanism and uh, striker uh, spring and has quite a bit of take up to get to the wall once you get to the wall it's okay not too bad certainly a lot better than it was and I would say 50% uh, cleaner than uh, it, what it came with as far as the reset goes it's you almost can't even perceive it uh, when you release the trigger there it is right there but it's very subtle they do make a, an additional part that you can get where like on a Glock it's a big clunk when you release the trigger and uh, you can you can feel it pretty well that I don't care so much about that. I'm going to release the trigger anyway, but uh, I'm not, I guess what I'm saying is in the middle of a tournament or competition, I'm not f in tune with feeling the uh, trigger reset because it's, it's usually pretty up close and pretty fast. So, um, but there's the reset there and in the press and uh, it's way, way better than uh, it was out of the box new. 
All right, that's my review of uh, the two different triggers on two different uh, handguns. Thanks a lot, guys.